Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 8-4. So the statement is the tank of the air compressor is subjected to an internal pressure of 90 psi if internal diameter of tank is 22 inch and the wall thickness is 0.25 inch determine the stress component acting at point a draw a volume element of the material at this point and show the result on the element so this is the compressor you can see you have been asked to find the stress component at this point so let's start with the given data so in given data this is given as a tank you can see that is cylindrical tank so i will write cylindrical tank here and the internal pressure is 90 psi so p is equal to 90 psi if the internal diameter of tank is di is given as 22 inch so surely from here you can get inner radius which is equal to di divided by 2 and that is equal to 11 inch wall thickness is given t is equal to 0 0.25 inch there and you have been asked to find the internal uh, to determine the stress component acting at point a by stress component we mean sigma 1 and sigma 2 clear so sigma 1 is boob stress and sigma 2 is longitudinal stress so let's start with the solution so as we know that boob stress is equal to p into r divided by T and longitudinal stress is equal to P into R divided by 2T but first we have to check whether this is thin wall pressure vessel or thick wall so first to check for thin wall so what we have to do is we have a condition that r by t is should be greater than 10 for thin wall pressure vessel so you have r r is 11 so 11 divided by 0 0.25 should be greater than 10 and this value comes out to be 44 and 44 is greater than 10 so it means that they they are thin walled pressure vessel now you have to find the boob stress that is sigma 1 I will write boob stress that is sigma 1 and that is P into R divided by T where P is the internal pressure that is 90 psi clear R is inner radius which is 11 inch here divided by thickness is 0 0.25 inch so when you calculate it the hoop stress comes out to be 3.96 KSI ok so for longitudinal stress We have formula sigma 2 is equal to P into R divided by 2 into T. So you have all the values P is 90 psi, R inner radius is 11 inch, 2 multiplied by thickness is 0 0.25 inch. So when you calculate it, it will be 1.98 KSI. Again, if you know that longitudinal stress is equal to half of hoop stress so 1 over 2 is equal to sigma 1 which is 3.96 and when you calculate it it will be 1.98 KSI 
so whether you are using this formula or this formula they will give you the same answer so this was the intern uh, this was the stress component acting at point a so what if i draw this component at point a so let this is the component there this is the component at a so your longitudinal stress will be in this direction there that is equal to sigma 2 and your loop stress will be in this direction this is sigma 1 and sigma 1 is equal to 3.96 ksi while sigma 2 is equal to 1.98 ksi so this was the representation of volume element of material at point A clear and the results are also shown. I hope you have now clear understanding. Thank you for watching.